All right, so when we attach the goggles to the actual beanie, you want to make sure that you have it centered, that it's not completely lopsided, because that will just bum you out. So what I try to do is I try to look at where the ear flaps come to the body of the beanie. So it looks like this would be the start of the body on this side, and this right here would be the start of the body on this side. So I kind of walk it in. I'm like one, one, two, two, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. So like right here is the center of your beanie. I try to do this because all beanie sizes are gonna change where you will put the beanie goggles. Okay, so lining that up with the center, lay it flat. I also, so we'll put that center with this center. Perfect, okay, there's the center. I also like to make sure that there is a layer or one row of the brown of the actual beanie between the goggles and the border or the rim of the beanie, okay? That gives you just enough space without it feeling crowded. So that is where we're gonna lay our goggles. Now you're gonna take your yarn needle or your tapestry needle. You're only going to need one strand of the, col the border color. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off, cut off a pretty long string of that border color. So giving you an idea of how much I just cut off. I cut off ah, quite a bit, like three times the size of the actual outside border if not more just you can always cut off but it's harder to add right so i'm going to go ahead and thread that yarn through the needle and the trickiest part is making it stay put when you come in from the back side i crochet i, I sew this along the outside border. I don't put any so, um, stitches in the inside of the goggles where the gray is. All of my stitches are gonna be along the outside border. So I'll start here in the middle. I'll pull that through. And I'll leave a little bit of a tail for tying off. It's going to take a little bit of just holding it where you want it to be. Put the needle in the next space. Pull through the inside. There we go. Coming back from Behind.
All right. Now we've gone all the way around. Lay it flat. So all those stitches that you see, right? If you then take and you fold the edges up, you kind of like take it and you push it up a little bit, you prop it. You can't see those stitches anymore. And it still adds to that 3D effect, which is super, super eye-catching and super, super cool. Right? Awesome. You can mold the eyes, shape, shape them how you want them. Come on the inside. Okay. Cut that. Let's tie this together. And then what we're going to do, we're going to insert your crochet hook. See where there's kind of that border of where you know the goggles are. Inside the border, skim the taupe color of the beanie until you get to the very spot next to where we tied our knot. And pull that in. Perfect. Cool. Last thing that we have to do is crochet the little string border around the outside of the beanie to give the illusion that it's the part of the goggles holding the goggles onto the beanie. Super, super easy. Get your two strands of the border color. Again, we're working with the two. Okay, your slip knot. I try to go off of the middle of where the goggles are. See, this is always going to be different, which is why I don't really have an exact spot for you. But we're going to say that it's right here, this line right in between this row and this row. That's where I'm going to put my string. I attach, so I'm following this line right here up to my work. I'm going to go like underneath of the goggles in that row and I'm going to find the spot in that row. I'm going to come up and just like we did with the, eye, the circles on the goggles, I'm going to slip stitch. So next in the row, I'm going to slip stitch. Next spot in the row. So there. You're following that entire line all the way around the beanie.
All right, all the way up. I might even go right up underneath where that goggles part is just to make sure it goes under. And then you'll see, see the line just kind of followed right in between these two rows. Stayed right in line. So with this, once we've got to the end, cut off some slack, yarn over, pull it through. Got a good knot right there. Don't cut it too short. I would cut it like that because I want to come in underneath the goggles, underneath the goggles, where I'm between the goggles and the actual tote part of the brown beanie. Yarn over and pull that through. And now that string has been tucked underneath the goggles, lays flat. Let's do the same thing with this side. So I will just go between the goggles and the actual beanie. Guide it with my hand on the inside to make sure it doesn't actually go all the way through to the inside of the beanie. Right there. Go ahead and catch that yarn and pull it through. Now this time it went all the way through the other end and if it does that you can cut it off. That's fine. All right, guys, there is your aviator beanie. And it looks awesome. You did a fantastic job. You got the 3D effect of the goggles. If you chose to do that, you do not have to choose to do that. You can have yours lay flat if you want. The 3D effect is totally my deviation. You got the strand that goes around the edge. If you want to, you can kind of just pinch them together to make it a thinner line. That way it looks like it's actually something that isn't attached. If you want to clean up parts of the beanie, like this gray tail, you can do that. I'm a perfectionist, so yeah, I, I do these things. <laughs> And then also, if you want to make sure, sometimes I'll take some fabric glue and I'll put a little bit of glue right there. And I'll put a little bit of glue on this side too. And then I will push down the edges of the goggles just so that those strings don't come out. I try to do everything I can to make sure that the work continues to stay looking the way it should and nothing comes out of place. Well, there you go. There is your aviator beanie. So cute. What do you think? I had so much fun showing you how to make the aviator beanie today. Please make sure to give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet and would like to, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then click the bell and select all. That way you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming. Well, I hope you had fun crocheting with me today. I had so much fun crocheting with you. My name is Tiffany Hansen. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.